Hi everyone, it's Aunt Fernita. Today's story is called "Don't Let Go." The memory verse is from Revelation, chapter three, verse eleven. It says, "Hold on to what you have, so that no one will take your crown." Today's message is when I obey God. I make the right choices in my community. Can you remember the last time someone wanted you to do something that you knew was wrong? What did you do? Did you remember what you had been taught at home or at church about living for Jesus? Did that help you make the right choice? Joseph remembered that his family's God was with him and would help him. Let's read about it. When Joseph was sold by his brothers, he might have been tempted to give up on God. He might have thought that God should not have let him be sent far away. But then his thoughts turned to his home and what his father had taught him about God. He had told Joseph that God always keeps his promises. Joseph decided to always obey God. In return, God blessed him. The Bible says the Lord was with Joseph. When Joseph was sold to a man named Potiphar, God was with him and blessed Potiphar too. Soon, Potiphar gave Joseph responsibility for his entire house. God blessed Joseph, and many people liked him. Potiphar's wife noticed what a good job Joseph did. She also saw that he was very handsome. Satan used her to tempt Joseph. One day, Potiphar's wife asked Joseph to do something he knew was wrong. Since Joseph had decided to obey God, he said no. Actually, he said more than that. He said. How can I sin against God? Joseph knew that doing what this woman asked him to do would be wrong, and it would be a sin, and it would make God sad. But Potiphar's wife didn't give up. Every day she asked Joseph to come to her, and each day he refused. When she realized Joseph wasn't going to do what she wanted. She decided to get Joseph into trouble. I want to be alone with you, she told Joseph. Again, Joseph said no. As he turned to go, she grabbed his coat, pulling it off. Help! She called to the other servants. Joseph tried to attack me. It wasn't true. Joseph had been faithful to God and loyal to his master Potiphar, but Potiphar's wife showed him Joseph's coat. She told Potiphar that Joseph had attacked her and left his coat behind. So Potiphar sent Joseph to prison. Poor Joseph, he had lost his job even though he had done nothing wrong. Yet even though Joseph was in prison. He knew that God was still with him. He believed that God would continue to bless him. God wants to be with you too. When He is with you, it is much easier to live for Jesus. It is easier to say no to Satan. Joseph learned about God from his family. He probably decided to trust and obey God from seeing some of the mistakes his father had made. When you decide to obey God, you will make the right choices in your home, and in your community, and wherever you go. And you don't have to worry about what will happen to you. This podcast is read by Franita Buddy for GraceLink.net, created and produced by Falvo Fowler, post produced by Faith Toe at Studio El Piso.
The theme music is by Clayton Kinney. Animation and artwork by Giogo Godoy. The audio engineer was Karel Holness. For more information, please visit gracelink.net.